vent. This is a, what we call the Hooligan Hill Climb. There he is. Hello, Mr. Groundhog. He lives right under there. Do you see that? I actually ran him over on a bike once and he's, he seems to be okay. Poor little guy, he ran out right in front of me. What's up guys? Back at it again. Beautiful day in Rockville today. And I get to ride this classic Yamaha XT350 single cylinder thumper, six speed transmission. This is a really cool four valve motor, twin car bike, and it's a Yamaha. And my first tattoo will be a Yamaha tuning fork on my shoulder here. That's gonna be the first one I get. Why? Because these bikes are awesome. They run forever. And uh, they're just fantastic machines. This one has been in the same family since it was new. It's basically 100% original except for the tires uh, and the backpack that he put on here to pack his lunch or uh, drinks in in the handlebars. Other than that, the paint is original, the tank is original, the seat cover is original, the exhaust is original, and the engine sounds phenomenal. This is a bike that has never been stored for a long period. It's been started every year like clockwork and stored in a nice warm environment so it wasn't left out in the rain so there's not a lot of patina on the bike as you'd expect for a bike of this vintage and uh, starts right up. First kick, if you put the, the start button on, and it purrs like a kitten. Listen to the exhaust note on this thing. The motor sounds beautiful on this bike, just like you'd expect a brand new motor to sound. Listen to the, listen to the exhaust note. She just purrs like a kitten, and it runs beautifully. The 350, my favorite bike that I ride the most around here, as far as bikes that we own, is that Honda CRF 250. I ride that thing almost every day around the museum. And there's something about a single cylinder four stroke, and this one's even better. That extra 100 cc's is nice if you're gonna take it on the open road. Plenty of power for two up riding or hills if you wanna, the, the 350, you could even take it out on the highway if you wanted to. Plenty of power. And you know, I'm not getting any younger, I'm 54 years old and uh, I raced motocross for 40 years. I've had back surgery once from uh, casing a jump and having the extra suspension from an enduro is awesome when you're on a rough road like this one here. It takes, a, you won't even feel the bumps because you got 10 inches of suspension travel. And if you want to take it off road, you can. Uh, if you want to use it as daily rider, or you ride on the street, go ahead. Six speed transmission, overdrive, it'll cruise all day long. Horn works great, all the turn signals work beautifully. Left and right turn signal, uh, the uh, high and low beam. So in addition to being on-road, off-road, of course you can ride it at night too, which is a lot of fun. And uh, it's a really cool classic, it's a right color. The rear tire is more aggressive than the stock one. The stock one's a, a trials tire, this is a uh, more of an off-road, uh, maybe 60% off-road, 40% on-road tire. We just fence in the whole grounds of the museum so when we have big events, that's where the hill climb is, the uh, hooligan hill climb for the street bikes. And then we have a hill climb out back that um, that we have. And we have a track up top here. Watch it, little wheelie machine. This is a Bigsby house up here. This is where Kenny lives with uh, Doc and a couple of the other team members here. I was going to move in here, but they moved in and they didn't want me to move in. The seven bedroom 1880 Colonial with a big barn and it's right next to the right next to the museum here. So I haven't taken you guys up here, but we got a little little mini track up here. I'll take a ride around around it with you. This is one. Actually, you guys might have seen this, this the track during the 500 shootout. It's getting a little rocky. We got to do a little track maintenance. But it's awesome, it's in the woods here. We got a jump over here. And that's the beauty of, of an on-off-road bike. You can ride it to the tracks and trails. Something you can't do with, a, with a, an all-off-road bike. The Enduro, you can take this anywhere you want to go. And uh, it's, it's legal. The cops aren't gonna give you a hard time because it's perfectly legal. This is the hill climb over here that we're running at the, the uh, next event. This is a, what we call the Hooligan Hill Climb. There he is. Hello, Mr. Groundhog. 
He lives right under there. Do you see that? I actually ran him over on a bike once, and he's, he seems to be okay. Poor little guy. He ran out right in front of me. So that's a, this is a hooligan hill climb. And uh, the, the real gnarly hill climb, the pro hill climbs in the back, which is basically straight up. coming out nice or repointing the wall over here. It's a 200 year old rock wall. It's gonna look awesome when they're done. This thing's a blast. Disc brakes, long travel suspension. Disc in the front anyways, drum in the rear. Let's bring it inside. Typical Yamaha, um, the Popo, typical Yamaha uh, reliability and comfort in handling, which, which is to say bulletproof and excellent. I've never had a bad Yamaha, I don't think. I've always had good experiences owning Yamahas. They last forever and they hold their value. And this one's a classic in the right color, red and white. Got the cool little hood scoops to uh, air scoops to direct cold air to the top of the engine. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Original graphics and plastics. It's a beauty. If you have any questions about it, give us a call. 860-454-7024. This is a bike that's bound to give years of good service. It needs nothing. It's ready to go. Is there anything you'd like to add about this machine, Kenny? No. Buy with assurance, we can get it shipped affordably. Messages for a shipping quote. Good luck bidding on it. God bless America. Come to Americade. Come to Laconia. Come to Rockstock. We'll catch you later.